What is up guys, I'm Daishou and I'm here bringing you some magic gameplay. It's been a while, I know, I haven't been able to play for, for a bit because, I don't know, whatever. I played a lot this morning, I was actually playing only vampires and that's what I'm still running. Uh, yeah, I like this hand. Got Blade of the Blood Chief, got Blood Gas, two of my best cards, and then also Sanger is a really good card too. Uh, that, that could be worse, but I'm not really too happy about that turn one. Anyway, my opponent is obviously uh, playing Wielding Steel, as you can tell. And I have been experimenting a little bit with the vampire deck, and I made a change just now. I think I made the change. I can't even remember if I actually made it. Uh, yeah, I definitely did, and uh, hopefully it'll work out. And right now, I'm trying to decide exactly what's going to be in the um, what's going to be in the vampire deck guide. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's like. In order for me to make a decision on what I think should be in the guide, I have to see what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to play Blood Gas first because I don't I don't want to just lose a turn of being able to swing in. I don't really mind the life that much at this point because actually he's going to swing in for four, which isn't great for me. But I'm just going to get two of them back anyway, and I'm going to go back up to 16. But anyway, this is how... Oh my god, Sword of War and Peace. God damn it. All right, well, at least he doesn't have any creatures because I'm about to kill one. Um, unless I draw Urge to feed, that would be amazing right now, to be honest. But, um, anyway, next turn I'm going to make my Blood Gas a little stronger and swing with that. I got, that's pretty good for me. Um, I'm gonna, I'm not, I would play, uh, Ruthless Cut Blade, but I can't really do that because I need to make sure that I kill, I kill this guy, um, so that he can't do anything about it. He can't, like, he can't swing in with Sword of War and Peace and stuff. But anyway, I'm swinging in for four now, so that's pretty good for me. And hopefully I'll draw some land or something next turn. Vampire Nighthawk. It's been good. Um, because I, I really am not too happy about this sort of War and Peace. It's a really, really good card, especially early on in the game. Ooh, Pen and Blade. That is not a creature. And hopefully not a one drop. And if there's no one drop here, then I am in good shape. Because until he draws a creature, um, there's really nothing he can do. So anyway, I'm going to swing in with this Blood Ghast. And then I'm going to play... Um, Ruthless Cold Blade, but basically you, in general, you want to keep the, the uh, Blade of the Blood Chief on Bloodgast because then it makes, oh my god, that's annoying. It makes them want to kill Bloodgast more than the other guys, so um, the other creatures that you have, so that's really good. But what I'm going to do this turn is I'm going to, ooh, actually, I'm just going to play this and then swing it with Bloodgast because um, if he blocks with three creatures and my Bloodgast dies, then I do I don't end up getting the counters, but I gain nine life, which would be amazing for me. Plus I can get my creature back. Okay, so yeah, he he decided that he can't really afford to block in that situation. But if he swings in next turn, then he's screwed. Plus this guy's back up to a four two, so that's I mean he's already up to a four two, so that's good for me. And I have corrupt in my hand. I don't think it's going to get that far, but he does have all that equipment out there, um, so that's really bad. He's going to be able to sword of war in peace and pen and blade, I guess. Um, so that's not not too good for me. Let's let's see. Um, oh, you're putting them on different creatures. I hope you still swing in with a three three. That's amazing. Just gonna let me kill it. That doesn't make any sense. They should, he should have just put it on the same creature. Cause I mean, I don't really want to take seven damage, but I don't mind taking seven damage that much. Um, alright, let's see what we got here. And now that guy goes up to a 6-5. Eight, oh, an 8-7, my bad. And I gained some life out of it. Um, let's see. Alright, we got the land. So, I can... I can spread the sickness to kill the one that it's on. And then... Actually, here's what I'll do. I'm gonna... Oh, shit, no, I can't do that. Um... I want to make this creature stronger, but then I won't be able to use spread the sickness to get a kill. Whatever. Okay, so I'm going to kill this creature, and then should I swing in here? I don't know. Well, this guy gets to be really, really strong, and until he gets something that gives his creature flying, he can't even do anything about it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to swing with Sangermancer. He goes down to five, and if I draw the land off the top, then the game's over. If not, then I'll just do the same thing. I'll just block the strongest creature he has. Oh, shit. Blood Gas can't block. God damn it. That was such a bad call. Oh, my God. I did not think of that at all. Gideon's Lawkeeper. But 
Um. Oh yes. Play all your cards from your hand. Play another one. Play another one. Maybe he don't. Even, maybe he doesn't realize. I can't believe I made the mistake. That was such a bad move. But um, whatever. Hopefully he won't swing in here. He'll be too scared to. But even so, it's not the worst thing in the world. Like, let's see. He'll gain one life out of it. He'll go up to six. And even if I draw the land, and if I draw the land off the top, then I'll still win. God damn it! I forgot about that. I should have, should have, been smarter about that. But uh, what can you do? Sometimes you make mistakes. He didn't even equip Pen and Blade. Wow, what a bad player. All right, so sometimes you get lucky, and now I can win the game. All I need to do is Vampire Bite. That's six damage. He only has one card in hand. There's no Holy Days in that deck. Um, and there we go. I'll just wait for him to, like, quad block. Oh, he only blocked once. Um, actually, may as well kick it. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was terrifying. Um, but anyway, that was my vampire deck going to work. I got to use a vampire bite, which most people don't use in their run in their decks. And I managed to defeat my opponent, even with a fatal error that my opponent did not capitalize on. So I'm very happy about that. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Have a nice day. Bye.